in that car accident. So We're out, man. Remember? I, my only friends are toddlers. <laughs> Look, it's a mansion. I have bad news. Our summer beach vacation. Hello, welcome to the vlog, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. Ooh, it is. Bomb might be a oh, well, because you, you don't wear shoes, maybe that's why. <laughs> I mean, oh. Hi, kitty, kitty. Here's, here's my take. What's your take? On shoes. Okay. I think they're another thing that you have to remember. Right. To take with you. Okay. Especially in the summer because they're off all the time anyways. Okay. So if it's just another thing to carry around, it's like a burden for your feet. Oh. You know? It's like... A burden for your head. It's actually good for your feet. No, it's a burden for your feet. Why? Because they're like, ugh, the shoes, like the shoe, like they're on me. It's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like your feet are holding your shoes the whole time and it's just so... It's like carrying an extra purse. It is. It's oh. like you don't need that. Plus, once you start... It's healthy. It's like, it's like, you know how... Like when you were a kid, like a little dirt, you know, get some dirt in your mouth, build your immune system. That's right. It's okay. like that for your feet. Build your foot fi immune system. <laughs> foot immune system. Once okay. you roughen up the bottom of your feet skin, then you ne it's like built in shoes. They're summer shoes. That, oh, I see. That's a very interesting way to look at Wasn't it. Wasn't my, my thing for a long time was shoes are overrated. That's exactly right. And in fact, they are. He wants a treat. Watch this. This is so cool. Can you open the door, buddy? We'll be right back Mom, to you. Mom, you shouldn't be teaching him that. I know, but he loves his treats. All right, I'll get him a treat. All right, so you... Oh, oh gosh, I'm sorry, buddy. But you painting your toenails? Here's the thing. What's the Dogs thing? do exciting things for treats. And, um, and cats just meow. Oh. They ask for them. What do you think? Like, dogs do backflips? But she, he, he doesn't. He sits at the door. He's very good. He's but they like shake. They shake. They give you well, their I mean, paw. I can teach him how to shake. No, you I can't. I give him a treat every time he comes home because I'm just so happy he came home. He's my big boy. All right, you guys. We haven't told you yet, but this is very, very exciting. We are going to the Outer Banks, Outer Banks. for our summer beach vacation. Fun fact about me. I've actually not seen the show Outer None Banks. None of us have seen the show Outer Banks, and that's not why we're going and there. And that is also not why we're going there. That is not why we're going there. It's just, actually, we we made the, we reserved the house before I even knew, knew Outer Banks was a thing, like, as a show. Mm -hmm. So we have huge family celebrations. I'm leaning over so I can make the camera. Sorry, I just took a shower. Huge family celebrations and I to celebrate. I came back from work, so I'm wet because it was in the pool. Yes. And we were going to go on a cruise, because you guys know how we love cruising, but, um... For obvious reasons, cruising cruises got canceled. Um, but the How good news is, do you think it's gonna be I don't know. That's crazy. I don't know. But um, anyway, so we um, switched our vacation like in February to. You always pronounce the R in February. February. Yeah, you do. February. Actually, it wasn't February. It was March. It was the second week of March. It was March. Eight is what it was, is when we were like, hmm, the cruise actually hadn't been canceled yet, but some of our family members were oh, skittish about going on a wait, cruise. Wait, wait, wait. What? Oh, we were going to go on a cruise in the summer. Yeah, the oh, very okay. same week. Yeah, 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 yeah. The same yeah. week. Yeah, so I do remember that. So on March 8th, we're like, okay, even before school was canceled or anything, we're like, okay, let's switch it. So we switched it to Outer Banks, and I'm very excited to go because... Um, OBX, baby. OBX, there are 26 of us. All of our family members. And like members. the fact that there's going to be 26 of us in one house is going to be incredibly chaotic, but also exciting. Well, the house is huge, so it's kind of like a motel. I cannot wait to show you guys that. Well, first of all, I can't wait to see the house. Yeah, I can't wait to see it either. We will totally do a house tour. We'll totally show you. It's like, it's a mansion. It has an elevator. It's on the beach. You know well, there, it's going to have to be a mansion if there's going to be 26 people. I know, I know. So we're very, very excited. So right now we're sort of in the throes of getting ready because we leave in two days. So um, I've been sort of shopping and a little bit of packing and a little bit of planning. We'll tell you more about our vacation a little bit later um, because there's some fun things going to go on. But I'm gonna leave now. I have to go get Brennan. You know why I have to get Brennan? 
Be because you know he, he got fixed, Katie. He got in that car accident, so we have to take the car in to get fixed. So they're gonna fix it while we're Wait. away, and we have a rental car that I just got. So we're gonna I'm gonna go. He's gonna drive from work to the fixer. I'm gonna meet him at the fixer and bring him home. And um, I have some questions. Okay, bring it on. Are we? We're driving down there, right? We are. And um, I have another question. Was about the house. Okay, we'll see you later. I gotta go. I gotta meet okay, him. Okay. So think about your questions and we'll talk about them, okay? All right, adios. Yeah, that was a good. I'm sorry. Hi, Ryan. You've been a sleepy boy. Did you just wake up? Oh, Biggers is awake now. Hi. You took an afternoon nap. It was probably three or four hours long. Do you know it's the same day that when you well, went to sleep? I, I I had a little freak out that it was the next morning. Really? We're good. It was only five. It was only five? Mm -hmm. So are you going to wake up? No. Are you just going to stay here? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Ryan, we were telling everybody about our trip this, this or uh, our trip next week. Oh. Oh, what do you think about it? I think it's going to be fun. I'm excited. Yeah. Saturday to Saturday. It's going to be long. So, Ryan, what are you most looking forward to about vacation? Golfing. Oh, really? Uh-huh. I have bad news. Oh, we can't. We're not going to golf. <laughs> Sorry. Well, nothing. How about fishing? This trip's going to be wrong. Stink? <laughs> All right. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. I might just, uh, <laughs> I might just have you guys drop me off at the golf course and <laughs> me just golf the whole week while you guys and are And then pick in. you back up? Yeah, while you guys are in. Let's go. Okay, bye. Kitty, I know. you look like an actual, like, your salon you've got going on over here. No, this is really just my, um, my space heater that has, like, one slightly colder option that I'm using to dry my... Maybe I can get, like, a fill-in from her. Yeah, do you think Katie can do a fill? I think she's so good. She's very crafty. I feel like I, I feel like I can. Crafty Katie. Crafty Katie. Crafty Molly... Katie. So I've asked Molly and Samantha to eat up all the food, all the perishable food. This one's picky, so. She's picky. She because we don't want to. She boxes and bags. That's so true. I am literally eating ham and sliced cheese. And sliced Honestly, cheese. I'm smacking them. Because this is the thing, it's going to go bad while we're away. So you guys can eat anything DJ, like that. I've had three. <laughs> three slices of ham. It's really good, isn't it? I gotta go. And Sam lives over here. Sam eats out of it. Oh, well, I wanted to thaw it. Sorry. Oh, yeah, really bad. No, I got uh, chicken juice in the fridge. Come on. I got chicken juice in the fridge. I'm There's so sorry. I didn't fridge. mean to. I didn't mean to. Yeah, this is a process. Okay, tell me what you got going on. Oh, are you making a little sangi? And roll tightly from this corner. Yeah, from the cheese corner. Roll, roll. There you roll. go. Go, 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 go. <gasps> Do you want to put mustard on it? No, just eat it. <laughs> Wow. Nice. You guys are my favorite. I might eat a piece of cheese. Dad and I are going out to dinner to our friend's house. And Katie's going to babysit for the first time ever. Which is make it, don't make it sound like I don't know how to like, babysit. That's kind of scary. Like, say, exactly. like, like, Have you babysat before? Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, like... <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's your first I, gig babysitting. I mean, it's my first time getting paid for watching a child. Right. Right. Exactly. It's very exciting. So she's gonna babysit. Would you watch that in the I mean, like, I don't know. At the pool, I've like watched people's children, and they'd be like, "Can you just watch them for like while I go get this thing from my house?" We'll be like, "Yeah, are they." And then like, I mean, it's not really. Other and you just hang out with kids anyway. Yeah. Like you're really good with yeah, little kids. Yeah, I mean, I my only friends are toddlers. <laughs> are right, you guys? We are alone. Okay, so little. <laughs> Kate's playing um, shotgun or playing co-pilot. Cool she's doing a lousy job. That stinks. So you guys, we're in the rental car. This is the car that we're renting, not the, the rental one, car. Not the next one. Because of not the, the car ride. that was um, damaged. Nope. So while so while the CRV is getting fixed, we're in this rental car. So we're yeah. going to our friends for dinner and Katie is babysitting, like I said before. <laughs> yeah. I really think it's gonna be fun. Hey guys, yeah. comment below. Do any of you guys babysit or did you babysit like, growing up? Do you liked being babysat? Like, who was your favorite babysitter? I have to say, I used to, my favorite babysitter that I had was a woman named Robin. And I'm the youngest of five kids, as you guys know. Whoops, come here. And 
Um, my mom always worked full time, and so she had Robin, who was, I guess maybe like after high school age, and she used to babysit us, and she used to drive us around in a little Volkswagen Beetle, which I think is where I got my love for Volkswagen Beetles. Actually, I think it was a bug at the time, and now it's a Beetle, then it was a bug. Anyway, um, so that was so fun. So she was my most favorite babysitter, and I still stay in touch with her today. So Robin, if you're watching, I don't know if you watch our videos. If you're watching, hello, and thank you so much for taking such good care of me. All right, so Kate's gonna go in and babysit now. All right, Katie, so how did your babysitting go? That was good. Yeah, fun? Yep. Fantastic. We are home from dinner. Brennan, did you have a good time? No. No? I'm sorry. Like what? Like yes. Did Did your friend like your hair? Uh, no. She didn't like it? No. What'd she say? She said she liked it. I'm just kidding. Of course she did. She okay. Oh, Brennan got a haircut. Want to show us your haircut? Oh, it's I under there. I love it. I think it looks great. Well, you love every, every All right, you guys. So there's a lot of things we're planning for this Outer Banks vacation. We're having themed dinners. Ooh, we're oh getting a family picture on the beach. And we are celebrating my mom's birthday and lots of other birthdays and wedding anniversaries. So there's going to be lots of activity going on. We also did a draw for rooms. We will put that video in here to you, so you can see. We did. Well, this is the thing. So, okay, so parents, are, yeah, like the, the boy kids are in one room, the girl kids are in a, another room, Ashley has a little baby, so she got a room that's quiet, Nanny and Pappy, um, Pap Pap requested a quiet, quiet room, and then I got to pick my room, our room, because we Boom. planned it, and then the other three rooms were up for grabs, so Katie did a draw, and the other three rooms were drawn, so we'll put that video in right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we are going to the Outer Banks for our awesome summer vacation. And I've been organizing this whole vacation, and so now it's up to me to make sure that everybody has a bedroom. We have certain bedrooms that are already accounted for just because of the number of people that are gonna be there and the number of beds that are in there, but there are three left over. And it's we're gonna draw out a hat to see who gets which of these bedrooms. So you ready, Kate? It's funny because I feel like no one ever actually draws out of a hat. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, but I can. Here, look at this. I got a hat for my birthday for my friend. Look at this. This is a great hat. It says this on it. Get it? Okay. So we're going to put it in there and draw out of a hat. Yes. Okay. Here we go. And the order in which we're going to... Okay, the bedrooms... Oh, did you just get... I just got sand all over my nectarine. Oh, Kate. It's okay, I'll leave it. It'll be salty. So, yeah. the rooms in here are number, hold on, rooms number one, two, and seven. And we're gonna draw in the order of the ages of the people who are left. So like, Uncle Mike is the oldest, then Aunt Wendy, and then Uncle Tim. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, so the first one is going Uncle to be Mike. Uncle Mike. <laughs> Uncle Mike gets Master Suite number seven. Woo! Number seven, okay. The next one is Aunt Wendy. <laughs> Aunt Wendy gets Master Suite number two. Okay. And that leaves Uncle, Uncle Tim, Tim with Master Suite number one. Woo! Uncle Tim gets Master Suite number one. Ladies and gentlemen, uh -uh. there you have uh -huh. it. All right, you guys, so stay tuned as we pack. We're going to pack tomorrow. We're going to film that. And then we are going to get on the road and drive down in our, our pickup truck down to North Carolina, the Outer Banks. Let's go to the beach. Let's go to the beach. All right, Michael John, what made you happy today? Well, thanks for uh, asking. Uh -huh. What made me happy today was um, hanging out with you uh, this morning. Oh, thank you. Okay. What made you happy, uh -huh. Brian? Um, just chilling. Taking a nap on that couch is unreal. It's I took like a four-hour nap, and I felt great afterwards. Uh, you that you know what? Sometimes you just need that. You just need a nap. You did. You were out, man. Remember, you woke up. You thought it was the next day. Yeah. I, I love it. I, I, I had a mini panic attack that it was next morning, but I was like, no. Nah. Nah. It was like five. Like what five. made you happy? You didn't start out a very happy boy this morning. No. But did your day get better? 
Yes. All right. Oh, you just took a bite. What made you happy today? Well, Mama Hopper for bar. I bought my mama bar. Hobble bar. Mm hmm. Getting off of work. Oh, finishing work. Okay. Good. You're like, oh, full day, man. I got to the bed. Love it. All right, you guys, what made me happy today was I had a wonderful walk this morning. It was wonderful. I loved it. And having dinner with my friends tonight was awesome. I enjoyed that, too. Katie, what made you happy today? Hi. Hi, what made you happy today, Katie Kate? Um, yeah, happy today was being productive at some practice and then working and then babysitting and I just had a productive day. Oh, you had a good day. And you had friends. That was good. Yeah. Good day. Are you going to take us out? Come on, we'll you guys a happy day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.